Oh, how's everybody doing on a Friday? It's beautiful out. It's about uh, 55, 56 degrees here in the great state of Illinois. And, uh, man, I, I wish I could have, uh, I wish I could be Victoria Alonzo right now. So this from Deadline. Uh, Disney settles with former Marvel executive Victoria Alonzo over sudden firing. So Hollywood is one of those places where you can get terminated from your job and get a big payday. So um, Alonzo was abruptly shown the door March 17th after 17 year run is at Marvel Studios. Uh, she started at Marvel back in 2008 and she was um, uh, the first Iron Man movie, which kicked off the MCU was her, her first project with Marvel. Her departure came in the wake of being Oscar nominated for the international feature film Argentina 1985. Her most recent title at Marvel Studios was President Physical and post-production VFX and animation production. Now I will say this. I got to hand it to Miss Alonzo who rose up through the ranks, garnered more power as she rose up through the ranks and became more outspoken. Um, at Marvel, as it uh, pertained to the LGBTQ plus plus whatever. Um, she was a, an integral part in phase four of the MCU. Uh, she was the one that famously said that the X Men was outdated. There are women on the team, so maybe we should call them X Women. Um. Reports at the time said Alonzo was let go from Disney for working outside the confines of her employment contract, which didn't permit her to be involved with non-Disney projects such as Argentina 1985. Now keep in mind, she was on the red carpet promoting this movie. So that's keep that food for thought. Heavyweight Hollywood litigator Glazer responded to the statement at the time saying the idea that Victoria was fired over a handful of press interviews relating to a personal passion project about human rights and democracy that was nominated for an Oscar and which she got Disney's blessing to work on is absolutely ridiculous. Victoria, a gay Latina who had the courage to criticize Disney, was silenced. Then she was terminated when she refused to do something she believed was reprehensible. Disney and Marvel made a really poor decision that will have serious consequences. There's a lot more to this story, and Victoria will be telling it shortly in one form or another. So I would say she was terminated for more than just promoting a project that was outside of Disney. That would be my guess. Disney retorted on March, March to the 24th. It's unfortunate that Victoria is sharing a narrative that leaves out several key factors concerning her departure, including an indisputable breach of contract and a direct violation of company policy. We will continue to wish her the best for the future and thank her for her numerous contributions to the studio. I would have loved to see in the good old WWE um, future endeavors email. That'd have been perfect. So, as I stated, she joined Marvel um, 17 years ago, back in 2006, as chief of visual effects and post production. And she was involved with 2008's Iron Man. And she's had producer credits on uh, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, the first Avenger. Executive producer on Avengers. Alonzo served as EP on movies and Disney Plus series, including, including most recently Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which I would have fired her too if, 
if if with the visual effects of that movie. Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Thor Love and Thunder, Doctor Strange Bomb. In addition to such TV, Fair is Loki, Miss Marvel, and Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Um, well, considering the fact that the visual effects for Marvel has gone downhill quite a bit in recent movies, um, like I said, there's probably a reason why she was let go outside of, outside of the excuse for promoting Argentina 1985. Um, so... Just thought I would share that with you all, uh, especially in light of what's coming on Monday at Disney, where the layoffs are supposed to begin. And um, they're saying it's going to be a bloodbath. And I actually did a video on that yesterday. You should check it out. So uh, that's all I have for right now. Um, please comment. Share your opinion down below. I'm always interested in what people have to say when it comes to these types of things. Do you agree with the reasoning why Victoria Alonso was let go? Do you think there was more to the story as to why she was let go? Do you think she should have kept her job at Disney Marvel? Um, let me know. Uh, please like this video, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload new content. And uh, as always, I thank you for watching. I thank you for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you that, do, that does take the time to watch my videos and watch my content. And, and, and you're all integral in helping me build this channel. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video.